Sometimes you don't want something crazy, you just want to dip your toes in on something small and try it out. Watching hour-long tutorials, sifting through multiple videos, and having to skim for the next step can be overwhelming at times. So here's a very quick and dirty tutorial just to give you a general idea of what it all can be like, and if you'd like longer, more in-depth tutorials on why you need to do certain things or how they work on a much more complex level, I've linked some resources down below. Without further ado, let's get into it! Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our model, and we can do that by going to the top left, where we see File, hitting Open, selecting our model, and hitting Open again. You can hold down the spacebar to move your canvas around, and use the scroll wheel of your mouse to zoom in and out. We're going to need to make meshes for every part of our avatar now. Meshes allow us to change and warp the art or the individual parts of the PSD file that we've loaded in in order to change how it looks. In order to make meshes for each of the part, go to the Deformer tab here at the bottom left and select every piece. Then we can go to the top near the middle and you'll see a triangle with circles that says Auto on it. Clicking it will open up a dialog window and we can select a preset. I prefer Deformation Little or Standard. Once you've selected your preset, simply hit the X button. Now, as you can see, we can grab these little dots and drag them around and it will change how the art looks. The next thing we're going to talk about is parameters. And what a parameter does is it tells the program what your avatar should look like or how it should behave in conjunction with another program, such as your webcam or your iPhone. To start setting up our parameters, all we need to do is select the part that we want to change, and right up the top of the parameter tab next to the deformation one that we just used, you'll see a little box with three green dots. Selecting a parameter, we'll start with angle X, clicking the dots, and it'll make three green dots appear on the timeline of whatever parameter you're working on. We're going to start with angle X, which is looking left and looking right. This green dot all the way to the left will be our avatar looking to the left, and the green dot all the way to the right will be our avatar looking all the way to the right. We're actually going to make this a little bit simpler by making deformers for each of the parts of the head. A deformer is a lot like a mesh, but it's a lot simpler. So, to start, I'm going to select all the parts of my face, and up here, You'll see a little net icon next to a circle with a line. Hitting that will bring up another dialog window and we're gonna hit create. Now we have a green box. A lot like the meshes, when we drag the little dots on it, it changes and warps how our avatar looks. But as you can see, when I move around across this timeline, nothing happens. In order to tell the program that we are recording or telling it how it should be behaving, we have to hit the green dots again. Any time you select a new part, deformer, or rotation deformer, or start anything new or make a new thing, you have to click it again. So if we drag all the way to the left, we're gonna deform this. Let's drag things over, see if we can't make him look like he's looking to the left. All right, that's a start, that's a start. I want to move the horn. I have the green dots, but I want a warp deformer for it, so I'm going to make another one. But my dots are gone. They're not green. That means it's not recording. All you got to do is click it again. I'm going to drag that over. Uh, but the head's looking a little bit strange, so let's... There we go. It's not the prettiest, but it boops. In order to make him appear as if he's looking to the right now, simply drag all the way to the right on the parameter and repeat the process using your deformers. Now, as we drag back and forth, you can see the art changes. It's not the prettiest right now. You really have to play around and use your deformers and meshes in order to change it in conjunction with whatever parameter you're looking on to really make it look pretty. But this is the basics of basics and 
is mostly for explanation's sake. Now, let's do angle Y. Angle Y is looking up and down. We're gonna repeat this process. We're gonna click our three dots. I'm gonna drag all the way to the left, drag this down. I'm gonna go all the way to the right. I'm gonna drag this up. And now he's, you know, he's he's looking some way. He's, it's something, it's something. He's looking something. Angle Z is the rotation of the head tilting left or right. To make a rotation deformer next to the net icon, you'll see a circle with a line. Simply select that, hit create. If I hold control and I select the middle of this circle, I can drag it down to where my neck is. When I hover over the tip of the line of the circle, I can rotate the head left to right. But because this is a new deformer and we're on a new parameter, we need to click the three dots again. Going all the way to the left is the head tilting to the left. And going all the way to the right is the head tilting all the way to the right. These are your basic parameters for head movement. Next, let's try and do where we're looking. If I zoom in, you can see that my irises are actually clipping over my eye. If I select the eye white, you'll see right here above the parameter icon that it has an ID. I'm gonna copy that select my iris, and then if I scroll down in this tab, you should see something right here called a clipping ID. I'm gonna paste the iWhites ID, and now it's clipped to it. In order to change where the eyes are looking, it's the same as the head. Eyeball X is looking left to right, and eyeball Y is looking up and down. I'm gonna select both of my irises, I'm going to create a deformer for them. I'm going to select the eyeball X parameter and make three dots. Then using my deformer, I'm going to drag it all the way to the left and have him look all the way to the left. Now I'm going to drag it all the way to the right and have him look all the way to the right. It's the same for eyeball Y. I'm going to create the three dots, drag all the way to the left, have him looking down drag all the way to the right and have him looking up. You don't really need to worry about eyebrow X because your eyebrows can't move inward and outward unless you're an alien, but eyebrow Y is up and down. To do that, I'm going to select both of my eyebrows. I'm going to create a deformer, drop in my three dots, drag them both up, go up for all the way to the left, and for down, I'm gonna go all the way down. And that's your eyebrows, up and down. The next one we wanna focus on is eyes open, which is your parameter for blinking. This one can be a bit strange because the middle one is the in-between point of your blink, and the leftmost dot is your eyes natural. So the one all the way to the right is closed, and the one all the way to the left is open with the middle one being an in-between point. The last parameter that we wanna cover is actually the hair. You'll find these all the way at the bottom with hair move front, hair move side, and hair move back. These ones are pretty simple. The first thing that I'm going to do is make a parameter for my bangs. The first thing that I'm going to do is make a deformer for my bangs. I'm gonna select a parameter, hair move front, Create three dots as we've been doing before, drag them all the way to the left, and use my deformer in order to sway it slightly to the left. Go all the way to the right and move it slightly to the right. Now we have a bit of sway. You're going to do this for each part of your hair, with hair move side being any bit you might have on the side, and hair move back being the back of the hair. Once you've done that, go into modeling, and at the very bottom of this tab, you'll see one that says Open Physics Scene Blending Settings. This will open up a new tab. The first thing that we're going to do is add a group. I'm going to name this one Hair. Input Presets, Head. And since my model has short hair for the Physics Models preset, I'm going to select Short. What we're going to want to do is go to the Output Settings, right-click, 
click add and select our hair parameters. Now, when I move my mouse around as he moves, the hair has a bit of balance. Body X, Y, and Z are much the same, except instead of the head, it's just the body. Mouth open and form is how you would do the rigging for the mouth to track yours when you speak, but that's a lot more complicated and I'll link resources to that down below in my video description. The breathing warp is the most simple. We're going to select the entirety of the body, create a deformer, we're going to add our three dots, drag all the way to the left, and we're going to slightly move them up as if he is breathing. And then we're going to go all the way to the right and drag them down. Now, if we go to the modeling, physics, and scene blending, it's not very pretty and it's very extreme for the purposes of showing you how it works, but it does it automatically. But that is the most basic of basics for Life 2D. All you need to do is go through each parameter, and if you are confused on what any of the parameters do, you can leave me a comment down below and I'll try to answer as much as I can. Or you, you could Google it. Google is how I figured out most of my stuff. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye!